Hey guys, first BG of Legion. Well, it's not my first BG, but first recorded one. And, uh, actually pretty fucking, pretty much enjoying everything about this expansion so far, except for a couple of things which I want to talk about in this video. First things first, I am sticking to the Red Paladin. I know a lot of people probably thought I wouldn't because, uh, they're not exactly powerful at the moment. I, just, I honestly don't have any problems with them, except for actual DPS and dungeons and whatnot. They're pretty weak when it comes to that sort of thing. Even though I have pretty good gear right now, I'm almost mythically geared. Uh, gear score of 836, I think I have at the moment. I don't know if I had it in this BG, but I had eight, up to 836 at the moment. And um, even with that, it seems like in heroics when I'm, you know, queuing into people with maybe 810 gear and that sort of thing, I'm still being out <laughs> DPS by those guys. And I'm not doing anything wrong, I don't think. Maybe it'll pick up once I have more Ashbringer like levels or something like that. I don't know if it stacks better with gear later on or if we'll just get a buff. I'm not sure, but that's just for dungeons. In actual PvP and just fucking around in BGs and stuff like that, uh, it's pretty strong. And you have some pretty strong abilities. Uh, first of which is the explosive, explosive uh, wrath spell that you can spec into in your last tier. It's horrible for pretty much everything except PvP, and even in PvP, it's only really usable in certain scenarios where you're getting just shit on. But with the new uh, talent where you can pop a bubble when you just are about to die, you don't have to do it yourself, you just pop a bubble and you get 20% HP or whatever it is. That plus Wrath is like just jizz, it's just jizz worthy because anyone near you is going to get down to pretty much 50 resident HP from max. So if you've already got someone down to 50%, you're going to fucking wipe out some people. And I'm thinking in Arena, I can probably figure out some kind of combo that makes it really, really good. I don't know, like... The thing is, like, you can't be healed to get to that point, so I don't know what kind of combo I'm going to try and go with. And I need a ranged DPS to play with as well, someone who can slow shit, because Red Pons just don't have any really good slows at the moment. You have your one, like, charging fucking horse, which is still, I think, it looks so fucking dumb. I wish they just gave us some kind of speed boost that wasn't, like, the same amount of speed, same time, or nothing wrong with the ability, just the way it looks. Or a glyph. They, like, Paladin's in... Legion right now, I have one glyph. Like, I only know this because I'm an inscriber and I've been selling a shitload of glyphs recently to make gold. And fucking one glyph. And it's for, not even for, like, all specs. It's specifically for tanking. With your Guardians of the Kings, it changes the king into a queen. That's the only glyph we have. Why don't you make a glyph that changes, like, the mount? Or changes what the mount looks like? Or, you know, something like that. That seems like a pretty... Like, I thought they would have put something like that in. Seems like a pretty obvious one to me. Especially since... Raptors, not raptors, shamans have a spectral wolf uh, as a glyph that changes it into like a raptor and shit like that. So you can run around as a raptor. Fucking badass shit. Like, uh, warlocks have like every single pet they have can change into a different demon appearance. And I've been farming those glyphs so I could sell those. Fucking cool, cool glyphs that I'm selling to people. I want some for myself and there's fucking nothing for paladins. I don't know like what it would be. Like, you don't really have any other kind of aesthetic abilities. I mean, wings, you can change wings again. There's already one for wings from. A different expense. What am I talking about? Did I fucking glyphs? Anyway, so Legion so far has been uh, disappointing leveling wise. Not because the leveling was boring or the quests were bad or anything like that. I enjoyed leveling. I enjoyed getting to 110. Problem was, it was quick as fuck. Like, I got up to max in, I think it was a day and a half. Like, it literally was release. On release day, I got to 108, I think, or 106 or something. And then the next day, I almost immediately got to 108. Like, 108 in another hour. Just fucking quick as fuck. And then, once I hit 108, I was like, I'm gonna hit 110 so quick that I should just stop questing so fast and just focus on professions and level up other shit and do, you know, rares or whatever. So I just did that. I didn't even try to level for the last two levels. And still hit 110 the same day. And then, gearing itself is also seemingly really fucking quick. Uh, I don't know if they could change it at all, and I don't want to complain about it because I actually really do enjoy Mythics at the moment. I love that I've done Mythics and people actually have to use their fucking brains. I mean, because of that, it seems like half the time I'm getting angry at people for being fucking retarded. But it also is pretty cool when, you know, I had to CC. I had to fucking spec into CC and CC some trash pools. Trash pools half the time see hard, seem harder than the fucking bosses. And there's just like five mobs and halls of valor. Like, that second pool in Halls of Valor is a fucking nightmare. Like, well, I don't know about it anymore, but the first time I went in there with a guild group, it was just fucking horrible. It's a dragon and then four Vikrules. 
two of them are casters, you're getting electricity on you the whole time. But it's fun as fuck because it's hard. And people that were retarded in my group had to kind of like have a bit of a learning curve there and start fucking moving out of shit. And it's just one of those things where it's like, I've played with people for so long that don't even bother to do mechanics because you don't need to do them. And it's nice to play something that kind of makes them realize that there's other shit you have to fucking do and pay attention to. As well as just being a DPS is no longer like standing and just smashing your face against something. There's actually mechanics to do and I like that. I, I don't want to be like a red paladin where I sit there and just press the button and the lights up. It's fucking boring. You, know, you want to do mechanics and see what's going on. Uh, but that's probably enough about PvE. Even though I seem to be getting into PvE pretty much uh, more than PvP at the moment. Not for any big reason, just because there's not much else to do. And PvP wise it's not raining out yet. And other than like using the leveling system, there's no real reason to do it. You don't get gear for it. I mean, you get gear out of the boxes, but the gear's worthless and you actually have better gear from just doing PvE, so there's no real reason to be farming PvP at this point. So I haven't been doing many BGs. I've only just started now because I've kind of run out of world quests and missions to do and that sort of thing. But anyway, as far as PvP is concerned, there doesn't seem to be anyone that's, at least that I've come into, that's super OP or anything like that. I mean, I'm playing a Red Paladin that's apparently underpowered, and I haven't really had any issues. One was Warlocks. I don't know if it's what spec it is. Like the one, Demonology, maybe? I can't remember. I think he had a lot of pets. I've versed a bunch of Warlocks, and they all seem like fucking punching bags. Kind of ridiculous, to be honest. But I don't know if that's intentional. They don't seem to do huge amounts of damage, so it doesn't really bother me that they're punching bags, but at the same time, it's like kind of like, what the fuck, I'm finding a Warlock for the same amount of time I'm finding like a Blood DK or something. It's kind of ridiculous. Other than that, Rogues are in a good place. Uh, if you play a rogue, you should be feeling pretty fucking happy right now. I think you are definitely going to be probably one of the most viable in threes and twos moving forward because they're just really fucking good. A lot of self heals on a rogue is just dangerous, and it seems like they can vanish and heal up whenever they want. You can, if you play a rogue good, you pretty much should never die unless you get caught out somehow. It, they they seem really good, and that also comes to kind of something that makes me the most pissed off right now in PvP. Don't know if it's like this for everyone or just rep paladins in general. But I seem to be just chasing nonstop. You know, Mage has got a double blink. You know, druids can just fucking get away no problem whatsoever. I've never even seen a druid die, it seems like. They just run away because they can just get out of everything. Sprint, blink, do whatever the fuck they want. Just get the fuck away. Uh, DKs now have like a walk thing. Paladins have their own fucking like mount away thing. I run away so much in PvP now to like self heal. It's kind of ridiculous. I wish it was more, you know, everything had a longer cooldown or stuff was like more important. You know, like you had to save it for certain situations. It just seems like everyone is treating PvP as you go in and hit and then you run the fuck away to heal up. And it just sucks for, I guess, melee more than anything because that means you're chasing people down 24 7, trying to catch up to people to finish them off. And there's a lot of situations where that happens and I'm just, you know, shouting at my computer screen because it's fucking pissing me off trying to chase people as a paladin. So, I don't know, maybe it's just I need more, you know, slows or I need more, you know, blessings that get me out of shit. Maybe the PvP talents later on will help. I know the level 50 PvP talent is your finisher, your killing blow one, I feel what it's called, but it's like the kill shot version. And I can't wait to use that. But then I have to hit prestige if I want to get the transmog. So, I'm probably going to hit prestige and use it for only one fucking level. God, it, it sucks, but I want the Ash Premier Mogs. That's, it's going to be like probably the biggest consumption of my future on WoW. It's going to be trying to get Transmogs for Ash Premier. Because I think they all look pretty fucking good. And I want to get all of the colors for the PvP ones as well as the Fire ones from raiding. So I'm going to be busy as fuck trying to get Ash Premier to look sexy and fiery and shit. Speaking of which, I need to run Fire ones. Anyway, let's go guys, Storms guys. I'm probably going to be doing more once Arena's out, make some Arena vids and that sort of shit. But until then, you know, I don't know when I'll see you, but I'll see you whenever I fucking see you. So I'll see you next video, guys.